and hello YouTube this is Mia with ES Market News and I'm here to bring you the latest news and updates on blockchain today now for this video we'll be talking about some of the price analysis for a few of our favorite tokens or coins so let's start all right so it's an actually an article and here it is Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, Bitcoin Cash, EOS, Stellar, Litecoin, Cardano, Monero, Tron, Price Analysis, November 5. Here, let's just maximize this one there. Now, we are into the final two months of the year, which have historically proven strong for Bitcoin. So, will the markets rally from current levels by the end of December? Now, during a recent simulation of three econometric models by Greg Giordano and Panos Mordukotas, two models pointed to a rally at current levels, while the third pointed to a sharp fall. The most bullish outcome was a rally at 12,629.15 dollars while the most bearish was a fall to 816.91 dollars the third model projected a small rally at 8,573.56 dollars today marks the deadline of four members of the public to submit proposals to the u.s securities and exchange commissions or SEC regarding its consideration of certain Bitcoin exchange traded fund or ETF proposals. A final decision on the ETFs will not be made until early 2019. In its latest annual report, the SEC said that its focus is to reduce the amount of cryptocurrency related scams. If the SEC succeeds in its in this effort, it will bolster confidence in the asset class and attract institutional and retail investors alike. How are traders positioned as December draws closer? What are the key levels to watch, both on the upside and the downside? Let's find out. BTC to USD. Here. Bitcoin is currently close to the moving averages, which have both turned flat. The RIS or the RSI is also near the midpoint, which slows a neutral sentiment. Both the bulls and the bears are currently in wait and see mode. Positive news amid an air of end of year expectation for Bitcoin could prompt bulls to attempt to break out of $6,831.99 and rally to the next overhead resistance at $7,400. Conversely, while markets remain largely stagnant and range-bound, pessimism and re-estimations of Bitcoin's end-of-year price could prompt bears to attempt to break down from the critical support zone of $5,900 to $6,075.4. In 2018, the Bitcoin to USD pair was held uh, the $5,900 mark on many occasions. Hence, traders can keep a stop loss of $5,900 on their long positions. A break of this can trigger a number of stop losses, resulting in a quick fall of $5,450 and further to $5,000. Next, we have here is Ethereum to USD. The rebound from the support at $188.35 was carried has carried Ethereum to the 50-day SMA that is acting as resistance. If the bulls sustain above the 50-day SMA, a rally to the top of the range at $249.93 is probable. We are not suggesting a trade at current levels because the moving averages are flat and the RSI has just inched into the positive territory. The indicators do not point to a trend reversal. 
the Ethereum to USD pair is likely to embark on a new uptrend once it is above $249.93. The traders can buy the close above their resistance. Now, our bullish view will be invalidated if the bears sink the price below $188.35 and $167.32. Okay, next we have is XRP to USD. Now, the tight range in Ripple has resolved to the upside. This shows that the bulls have the upper hand in the short term. We expect the virtual currency to resume its upward move and reach $0.62 with minor resistance at $0.55. Therefore, we suggested a buy on a breakout and close above $0.48. We wait for a strong close because in a downtrending market, this strategy keeps us away from fake breakouts. However, when the markets become bullish, we will change the strategy and buy the breakouts as waiting for the price to close above a certain level can result in a missed trades. Now, the 50-day SMA is trending up and the 20-day EMA has also started to turn up. The RSI has also risen into positive territory. All these indicators point to a possible rally in the XRP to USD pair. Our bullish view will be invalidated if the bears sink the price below $0.425. Okay, here. Next we have is BCH to USD. Bitcoin Cash has embarked on a bull run of its own. Buoyed by fundamental news, it has risen sharply from $408.0182 critical support. A breakout of $488 is invalidated the descending triangle pattern. Usually, when a bearish pattern is negated, it is a sign to go out and buy. The pullback on the BCH to USD pair is picked up momentum above $488 and quickly reached the overhead resistance at $591.41. If this level is crossed, the next target on the upside is $660.0750. Traders who are long who are long can keep their stop loss at four hundred dollars. The RSI has reached the overbought zone. Therefore the cup a couple of days of consolidation is possible after which the digital currency should resume its recovery and try to break out of six hundred sixty point zero seven hundred fifty three dollars. All right, here. EOS to USD. EOS has risen close to the midpoint of the tight range at $5 to $6. Both moving averages are flat and the RSI is just above the 50 level. The current bounce from around $5 might carry the EOS to USD pair to $6, above which a rally to 6.8 $8,229 is, is probable. If the bulls fail to scale the $6 mark, the range bound action will be extended. We anticipate the digital currencies to start a new uptrend on a breakout above $6,8,229. The target levels to keep in mind are $9,1,668 and $11.4. Traders who are holding long positions can keep their stops at $4.90. Here we have next is this one, XRP or XLM to USD. Stellar has broken out of the moving averages. It is probably at, or it's currently attempting to sustain above the downtrend line of the descending triangle. We anticipate strong resistance in the $0.24 to $0.27 zone. 
If the bull sustain above the downtrend line of the descending triangle, it will invalidate the bearish pattern, which is a bullish grid sign. Above $0 $0.27, we expect the XLM to USD pair to rally to $0 $0.36 with minor resistance at $0 $0.304. Traders can profit from the rally by initiating long positions on a close above $0 $0.27 and keeping the stop loss at $0 $0.20. Next here we have is LTC to USD. The bounce from the $47.246 to $49.466 uh, dollar zone support zone has created light coin to the 50-day SMA, triggering our buy recommendation made in a previous analysis. Traders who have entered long positions can maintain their stops at $47. Here, the bears might provide stiff resistance in the area between the 50-day SMA and the downtrend line of the descending triangle. Traders can book partial profits near the downtrend line and hold the remaining position because a breakout of $60 will invalidate the bearish pattern and can result in a rally to the top of the range at $69.279. The LTC to USD pair has been stuck in the $49.466 to $69.279 range since early August. If the bulls clear the overhead resistance, we anticipate a new uptrend to start. Therefore, a, uh, positional traders can go long on a close above $69.279. Next we have is ADA to USD. The bears could not capitalize on the breakdown of the symmetrical triangle. Cardano found support at $0.068,989 and above from there. It has again entered into the triangle invalidating the breakdown. This is a positive sign. If the bulls push the price above 0 0.0 $82,227, the 88 USD pair might rally to the minimum pattern target at $0.114,618. Aggressive traders can buy a close above $0.082,207 with the stop loss placed below the in intraday low of October 31st. If the price struggle to break out of $0.094,256, the stops can be trailed higher on the per on, or the positions can be closed. Next, we have is here XMR TUSD. Monero rose above the immediate resistance at $112.44 on October 4. Now, if the bulls sustain above this level, a rally to the top of the range is probable. Above $128.65, the upward move can extend to $150, which will act as a stiff resistance. If the bears push the price below um, the 50-day SMA range-bound action might continue. The XMR to USD pair will weaken if it slides below $100.453. We shall wait for a new uptrend to begin before recommending any trends. Trades. Next is TRX to USD. Tron has reached the midpoint of the $0.0183 to $0.281,555.21 range. It has risen above both moving averages and the RSI has also climbed above the 50 level, which is a mild positive. 
Though the movement inside the range is random, if the bulls succeed in sustaining above the moving averages, a gradual climb to the top of the range at 0 $0.0281 dollars is probable. A new uptrend might start if the price scales above $0.03. If buying dries up at market levels, the TRXT USD pair can slide to $0.0213479.8. A breakdown of this support can retest the critical support at $0.0183. Alright guys, so that is our price analysis for a few of these tokens for the day November 5. What can you say about this article, guys? Share with us your opinions in our comment section below. And um, before, guys, I'll end the video, I would just like to um, promote our newsletter, which you can subscribe by going to the website preferredcurrency.news here. Um, all you just need to do is go down, click on the link that says PayPal where you can pay 15 US dollars per month on a recurring basis and also you can pay at Coinbase for only $180 per year with your favorite crypto handled by Coinbase and after you do that you start to receive our newsletter um, 12 hours ahead of our broadcast here on YouTube alright guys so that's it for this video by the way all the information provided it, oh, information provided is for your news review and educational entertainment regarding blockchain and should not be taken as financial advices because here um, we are not financial advisors and we highly recommend that you do your own research regarding all of the information we have provided for you uh, so that um, you can make your own decisions for yourself this channel here eos market news and the website preferredcurrency.news is simply a gathering of the rumors and research available online each day. Alright guys, so that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like it, um, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more updates. This is once again Mia, your daily friendly broadcaster signing off and um, I'll see you on my next video. Until then guys, bye.